Hey guys, John here. Today we are in Surge XT and the question of the day is, can it analog? So let's find out. So let's right click, go to initialize patch and we're gonna try to stick with one oscillator today because let's restrict ourselves just a little bit and see if we can come up with a good result. We have a saw wave here and we're still on the classic here. So that's fine. And let's add maybe three voices of unison. Maybe a little bit more detune. Okay, so let's run it through a filter and there's quite a lot of different filters in Surge and they all sound pretty good actually. So over here in the low pass, what we can do is either check the, the K35 sounds pretty good, but I think for this, maybe the vintage ladder might be a little bit better. And if we see this little one right here, we can right click this and we have different types of these filters, which is really cool. So we're gonna be using the filter and modulating that with our filter envelope here. So let's give it some resonance and some filter envelope right over here. So it's kind of going slow and we also have sustain. So it's kind of bring this down. So you have something kind of like that. Let's bring our gain up just a little bit. Okay, we need some release as well on the amp envelope and also on the filter. Generally for the filter here, the decay and the release are pretty much gonna be in a very similar spot because if we hold down the note, we kind of still want that same filter motion or the, or the same timing that we that we do when we just hit the note and it releases by itself. So, because if we don't and it's really quick down here, we hold it down and it's cool, but if we let it go real quick, it's just too snappy. It's a cool effect, but not really what we're going for in this patch. And here's kind of the icing on the cake to really kind of accentuate this type of sound is giving the filter envelope a little bit of attack here. And then a little bit of envelope attack as well. Not too much, just a tad. Okay, so for this here, let's give it a little bit of EQ. So let's go to our EQ and then go to an init, that's fine, and kind of take some of the grossness out of it. And maybe give it some bottom end as well. So depending on how far you really want that filter to move, that's gonna be this first slider here. So if we go down a little bit. We can key track it a little bit. Okay, so we're not even into the effects yet and sounding pretty decent here. We're kind of getting that analog vibe here. Okay, so next up after the EQ, it's a really good thing to do is to add some chorus because that's really gonna bring things up here. And the analog warmth preset here is kind of nice, but we don't want the mix all the way to the top because that's quite a lot. So let's kind of bring that down and kind of slowly fade this in. Okay, so next up, what we're gonna need is a little bit of delay here. So if we click here and then we go to our delays and then we can kind of pick a lot of stuff from here. So for example, we can kind of look through this list here. Generally a basic one over eight can be fine. So, but we could even try the analog echo. That might be kind of interesting.
And for some reason, I don't know if we should actually lock these here or these things together. Maybe we can. Let's tempo sync this here. And then for this one here, let's link unlink this to the, uh, to the left channel. And then maybe eighth dotted note for the right and then for the left is gonna be regular. And some low cuts. Something like that. And one of the last things we can do is add reverb. We can either do a send if we want to, or we can keep it on here. It doesn't really matter. That's pretty much the last thing that I would like to add on this. So I guess we can just put it here. That doesn't really matter too much in this case. But just keep in mind, you can put different stuff down here, like delays and reverbs. If you have a lot of different patches, if you're using A and B, and you kind of just want to send to those with these send effects, totally a possibility. But for here, I'm probably just going to put the reverb on there. And we have lots of different choices. We have all this list to go through for these different ones here in reverb two. There's a lot of different stuff here as well. So it's kind of a lot of choices depending on what we actually want. So let's kind of go through a couple of these that maybe we would like. So I guess what, what would be interesting? Maybe a cathedral? What would that sound like? <laughs> A little too much. Let's see what other we have. Okay, the pre delay is almost instant, so let's kind of increase this here a little bit. Maybe a little bit less here. And then for the decay time, let's kind of bring this down a little bit from four. That's kind of a lot. And then finally over here on the master, maybe we can put a final EQ just to kind of take some of that mud out again from the other effects. So let's go to an init. Maybe around there, we can take that out. Maybe a little less reverb as well. We can also do a little bit of wave shaping on the filter, kind of see how that sounds. So if we turn this on, maybe something subtle, like a soft. Not so bad. And what's kind of really cool, especially on Surge, is up here on the top right, we're on neutral right now. We can go to bright or we can go to warm. So a sound like this, I kind of would like to have this on warm because it's going to sound, I guess, a little warmer. <laughs> Just out of curiosity, right now we're actually only using one oscillator. Let's see if we go to the second oscillator and maybe change this to a square with the shape here. We can turn this to the left and we kind of get this square and then kind of just bring the slider down or the fader, unmute it and kind of fade this in here and see what it sounds like. But also drop this down an octave here. It's interesting, but I think in this case, it might fight with it, so we can just mute this here. I 
we play this something kind of like in a blue scale that might be kind of funny here so if we go to our scales if i can find it where the oh here we go blues right so <laughs> Or if you want to be really authentic here, you can make this a mono synth or something like that. You could do that as well, or maybe add a little bit of portamento. It's really up to you. I'm going to keep this on poly and I'll try to kind of just save this like this. So I guess the question is, can it analog? It show sure can. Yeah, so definitely pretty cool. This synth is absolutely free. So if you don't have it, I would suggest to download it. I know a lot of people say the interface isn't really, I guess, what should you say? It's not really intuitive, but I kind of think it is. I don't really find that it's difficult to use or difficult to understand. It's kind of just very straightforward and it's one page. So it's really not that bad. So yeah, in the next videos, we're going to get a little bit more into modulation and kind of just move things around and make some interesting things. So yeah, if you want to get this patch, there is a link in the video description below and it can be yours. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.